Hi everyone, Sir Gregory here with Mylan Productions. I'm here today with Sir Evan Jackson. And Evan is one of our primary trainers. He's one of our primary coaches in teaching and choreographing fight scenes and sword fighting. Uh, we start out with sticks, basically wooden swords, and we actually eventually get into, as you can see, metal. And that's actually a sword that was actually broken in real training. So, and you can see how this is all dinged up. We use blade on blade, metal to metal, for our fight scenes in the Eye of Noor series. Eye of Noor Manifestation, and now our current project, Eye of Noor Draco Ordus, Dragon Rising. We are here at Red Crags Estates in Manatee Springs, Colorado, USA. And Sir Evan is one of our lead paladins, one of the holy warriors. He's been around since uh, the time of King Arthur. And you were a warrior monk then. Mm -hmm. And apart from training people, you're actually one of our uh, top actors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over to you and you can tell people a little about you and a little bit about your character and a little bit about the training techniques that you guys use. Okay. So, as you said, my name is Evan Jackson. Um, my character in Eye of Noor is Nolan Phelan. He uh, started out as a normal warrior monk during the time of King Arthur and he uh, through his service in the time of King Arthur with the Paladins, he was imbued with their power and, and given, given the eternal life and the strength of the Paladins um, so that he could continue to serve. He now acts as one of the, the Holy Paladins who, who fight alongside the rest of the Slayers and the Paladins to uh, kill and, and destroy the, uh, so the Evan, vampires. So you as a Paladin, you actually helped train the Slayers by generation by generation. The Paladins train the Slayers. Yeah. Now the Slayers go after the turned vampires called the Matutus, which means the hollow living dead. And they're the actual vampires that the vampires call the Hunters. So the Slayers kill the Hunters, and you guys go after the Nosferatu, correct? Yes. The Purebloods. Yeah. Okay. Now in the fight scenes that you guys use, where you're using the real swords and blade on blade and all of that, uh, how long does it normally take to teach an actor who's never done this stuff before to actually get to a point where they can safely use a real blade for a fight scene? Uh, each person learns at a slightly different rate, um, but for the most part we can get somebody within uh, a month or two to be able to effectively use these the skills and use the weapons. Now, say for example, a month, get them ready for a month. Approximately how much training time is that? It's uh, a lot of hours. It's probably uh, about at least six hours a week. Oh, good. Put into it. Now, you guys use the 1 through 9 360 method, correct? Mm -hmm. And that was developed by Sir David Card. And you, Sir or Evan Jackson, are one of the trainers, and Sir David Frank is one of the trainers, correct? Yeah. Okay, and you guys have done a great job with that. Now, how did you like working here at Red Crags Estates in Manitou? It's a really beautiful site. There's a, a lot of different scenery. Um, the, the different... Uh, houses? Yeah, the, the houses, the... <laughs> The terrace, this is a, a terrace kind of set up here and we've actually been able, each terrace looks different enough that we've been able to use each one in, in different scenes. Uh, we've got beyond the terraces, there's some very good rocky uh, terrain that's uh, got some of the very beautiful uh, red rocks from from the same kind that we have in Garden of the Gods here in Colorado Springs. Now in one of the scenes from the first Eye of Noor movie, you guys actually kill a vampire, mm -hmm. and I believe it's Chris Scott who does that, and mm -hmm. kicks her over, and it looks like he's kicking her over an edge. It was really right here. It was just, uh, just right in this area here. I believe so. It was, uh, yeah, I believe it was right in either this area or one level up, and we had people standing on the level below. To catch her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So and we, we actually kicked her. Uh, Chris Scott actually put his foot on her chest and actually kicked her off. 
into the yeah. waiting arms of assistance. Mm -hmm. Yes, that and was an because of the, the effect of the terraces, we were able to make it look like she was just going straight off the edge. Yes, you guys did a great job with that. Now, for these choreographed fight scenes, the, uh, they don't last more than a few seconds, maybe a minute or two at the most. Mm -hmm. You did some of those with Tavita Tata. Mm -hmm. You did some of those with Sarah Hartman. Yeah. Shale LePage. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, and of course, Christopher Scott, as we talked about, I'm getting people ready for those kinds of where you're using the real blades. How long do you choreograph and rehearse that one scene? One specific scene will be rehearsed over and over again for almost as much time as the person spent learning to, to use the same techniques. Absolutely. Um, usually we get several hours in uh, at each training when we're continuing to teach and, and brush up on and polish up the skills for the one through nine. We'll also train uh, specific scenes that we have choreographed and that those people will, will rehearse that scene over and over again several several times each training session. Now, you're wearing a necklace that was made by Jennifer Tate at Fleur de Bede, Jennifer Tate Foot at Fleur de Bede. Why don't you take a, show that to us, and uh, it's a Celtic cross. And Fleur de Bede is our primary exclusive developer for uh, the Eye of North series. Mm -hmm. uh, we do use you know, other people, for example, Arcana Nix is going to be working on the web series. But Fleur de Bede did that one. Tell us about uh, the quality of those necklaces and what you think about that. Well, there's some really, uh, I'm not sure how well it will show up on camera here, but you can see there's a lot of really intricate uh, design work um, in, in the piece. And uh, the the metal and everything, you can you can feel it has a little bit of weight to it, and it's very comfortable to wear. Um, it's very very good, fairly durable. That kind of thing. So Evan, you were one of the original people selected for the Eye of North series. You've been a trainer on this from day one. You've been involved in this from day one. Overall, what do you think of the Eye of North Vampire series and Mylan Productions? I think it's a great uh, series, and I hope to see it go to some good places. Um, we've had uh, a lot of tough times, but we've, we've prevailed and we, we keep the, the, the project going just because we enjoy working on it. Um, and we've got a lot of good people involved and uh, it's got a, a, an interesting story, some, some good characters. What do you think of Mylan Productions? It's a good company. It's, uh, it's a it's a great place for for a lot of the people who are a part of this project. We, um, I had no interest in in furthering a career in acting, but through Milan Productions, a lot of people who who were just barely starting up will will be able to to springboard into into much better things, I believe. And many of them have. Many of our actors from the I North series have gone on to work on some major major corporate movies and, and are in Hollywood and New York and they've done well. One last thing, Evan, before we go, Sir Evan, I have to ask, we've actually had, we have 16 international fan clubs, as you know, and one of the number one things people ask about is, of course, is this real? Is this real, Evan? And yeah. what about the look? I mean, this is a genuine look for you. Yeah. You didn't do this for the movie. This is how Sir Evan Jackson Okay, so really good job, looks. Evan. Thanks. And what would you like to say to people to say goodbye? Um, I just hope you continue to watch and continue to support this project, and I hope that it goes to good places. Thank you, Evan.